we are right in the middle of Q4, which means traffic on Etsy is increasing, customers are rushing to take advantage of early discounts, and the gift giving season is in full swing. Welcome back to what will probably be my final Q4 video in this particular series, which is intended to help set you up for success so that your business can thrive during the most profitable time of year for Etsy print on demand. If you haven't checked out my other videos in this series, make sure you watch those next because it's not too late to start building your shop and getting your listings out there. For today's video, I want to highlight the steps that I take during this busy time of year to ensure that my customers have an experience that consistently results in five star reviews. It's a simple concept that I like to call under promise over deliver. In case we haven't met yet, my name is Mandy, and as the owner of multiple six-figure businesses, including Etsy print-on-demand shops, my goal is to provide you with strategies to simplify the journey and scale your business faster so that you can stop the overwhelm, start making progress, and thrive with your print-on-demand business. Often during this time of year, you can hear some pretty horrific stories about packages that have arrived late or angry customers who seem to think that every retail venue out there is somehow Amazon. I run a handmade business as well, and I can tell you with certainty that these happen to every business, not just print on demand. But I have learned a few tricks over the years that can help reduce the instances of angry customers, specifically as it relates to shipping and deliveries during the holidays. First, it's important to get a realistic understanding of shipping with print on demand and what that entails with your printing partner. I use Printify and they publish all of their order deadlines each year so that you can plan for them. This year, there's the added option of utilizing Printify Express and Printify Choice. There are limitations for each in terms of products and providers, but both are intended to give you a little more flexibility in how quickly an item might arrive for your customer. Let's quickly walk through what they each mean. Printify Express is a production and shipping upgrade option. It is available for certain products and orders with these items will get routed to the provider that is closest to your customer and it will get fulfilled on a separate production line ahead of other orders. From there, the fastest shipping option is used so that the order arrives to your customer in as little as two days. Amazon, look out. You can easily filter products based on that availability as needed, but do keep in mind that you do not have control over where the product is fulfilled, and sometimes the production cost will go up slightly as a result. If you wanna use this for your customer, I recommend having a separate listing on Etsy that you can have customers purchase in order to charge a flat rate to them, primarily because this service can only be used in very specific circumstances. Printify Choice is another option within Printify. This one can actually be selected as a printing provider when you are creating new products and is primarily offered on products where there's more than one printing provider already available. This works very similar to order routing, which means that the order will get routed to the nearest provider to your customer and will also be based on delivery speed. The benefit of Printify Choice is that your production cost will not fluctuate. It's actually a set rate for that particular product. You won't see which provider got routed to and you can't use it in combination with express delivery or order routing directly. It's its own thing. I don't currently use either of these options, but they are available if you are looking for ways to get products to your customers faster. So with that in mind, one page that you want to always have bookmarked is the network fulfillment status page. To easily locate it, head to the help center on Printify, scroll all the way to the bottom, and then click on network fulfillment status. Then save this page. This is where you will see all provider statuses and whether there are any delays, You'll also see any major updates and for major holidays, this is where you will also see order deadlines. If you scroll and take a look at provider statuses, these timeframes are what you should be basing your production timelines on in Etsy for your shipping profiles. If you see delays with any of your normal providers, you will want to update your production times in your shipping profiles in Etsy so that they are accurate. Again, bookmark this page, save it, keep an eye on it, especially during the holidays. So how does this all relate to your customer experience? Well, you need to be able to set very specific deadlines within your shop so that customers can have clear expectations on order deliveries. 
and not expect something to arrive sooner than it actually will. If we take a look at the order deadlines in Printify, you'll see that they're organized based on provider countries. There's the specialty Printify programs at the top, which are going to be the Printify Express and Printify Choice that we talked about. You'll definitely notice that the Printify Express option gives you an extra week on deadlines. Then if we keep scrolling and expand the US providers, because that's where I am, you'll see order deadlines based on where the order is shipping to. December 11th and 12th this year is the most common for many of the US providers. If you sell mugs or other items through District Photo or tumblers from Fancy Fanny, you can see that those have shorter deadlines. I primarily use SwiftPod, and so as you can see that their cutoff is December 12th as well. Now, here comes the important part. I know you wanna make all the sales for as long as possible during Q4. So what I'm about to tell you is probably not going to be super popular, but before you click out right away, hear me out. Whatever deadline you see here from the print provider, back it up by at least a few business days and use that as your own shop deadline for orders. And also add on at least one extra business day to your existing production time in Etsy. As someone who has relied on the mail system for a long time to run multiple businesses, give yourself wiggle room, especially for this time of year. Print providers get overwhelmed with orders. The postal services get overwhelmed with shipments. I guarantee you, at some point along the way, you will experience order delays in one way or another. That is normal. There's not much you can do about it. I also guarantee that you will get last minute customers that are ordering based on a hope and a prayer that it will still arrive. By building in some extra time in your production times and by setting an earlier deadline while still knowing people will order, it minimizes the impact of those potential delays for the customer. As an example, when there are delays with print providers, I've rarely had to extend my ship dates in Etsy to accommodate them because my timeframes already have enough time built in, so it's not impacting the customer's expectations in any way. If it gets there earlier, great. Otherwise, it's going to still be on time according to the existing production timeframe that I already have set. Setting an earlier deadline and extending your production time slightly also serves a couple additional purposes. Number one, it lowers your risk of customers expecting a miracle delivery and an angry customer message on Christmas morning wondering where their daughter's Christmas gift is. Yes, some still expect it and plenty of customers scroll right on by your warnings, but with a clear deadline, you can easily refer to it. Is that a guarantee that nothing will go wrong with your order and that there might not still be delays? Of course not, things happen, but most of the time, setting these types of expectations and deadlines will help to mitigate a lot of that. Number two, your sanity. You can absolutely set longer deadlines, but I promise you it will come at the price of your sanity. The less wiggle room you give yourself, the more anxious you will get as those ship by dates and delivery dates creep in closer and closer. Can you run your deadlines a lot tighter and gamble that things stay on track in order to try and take advantage of last minute sales and shoppers? Absolutely. But given the choice between sales and lower anxiety, I choose my mental health every time. We all have our boundaries and that one is mine. Number three, even with extended timeframes, the majority of orders still arrive on time and often earlier than expected. This is where the under promise over deliver comes into play. And this is a piece that gets mentioned in my five star reviews time and time again. What happens when a customer checks out fully expecting an item to take a while or arrive later and that item arrives much sooner than expected? that customer is usually pretty happy. Do not underestimate the power of unexpected faster deliveries, my friend. I have used this method for years with both my handmade business and now with print on demand and fast shipping is almost always mentioned in reviews. But the thing is, I don't promote it. In fact, I downplay it. Experiences that leave a positive impression like that, and in this case requires zero extra effort on your part, are the triggers that prompt a customer to stop and leave a review when it's time to. So how do you then make sure customers know the deadline and expectation? 
you'll want to highlight this in several places in your shop. The first place is in your banner. Each season, I swap out my banner for the holidays and replace it with one that has my deadline message on it. I am setting my deadlines earlier this year because I have a couple different print providers, so mine is going to be December 6th. Number two, then I add a similar statement in my shop announcement so that it's clear that Christmas orders should be in by the deadline. In this case, I'm going to direct customers to order by December 6th to ensure Christmas delivery. Orders will still be accepted after this date and will be processed as soon as possible, but may not arrive before Christmas Day. Please plan accordingly as refunds will not be provided for orders that are delivered within their estimated window. This last sentence also matches what I have in my FAQs related to delivery guarantees, so I try to be very consistent in my wording across my shop. Notice that at no point am I making a guarantee on a delivery date. Number three. The next area that I want you to change is in your message to buyers. This is the note in the order confirmation that gets sent to every buyer who purchases from your shop. This is normally where I thank them for their order, encourage a review, and ask them to contact me with any concerns. During the holidays, I add in an extra little paragraph though, and I utilize the same language from the announcement. And finally, I'm going to bulk update all of my listings so that it's visible there too. To do that in Etsy, I can simply click on the little checkbox to select all of my listings. If you have more than 40, you can select all of your listings from that option, which I recommend. Then you're going to click on editing options and select edit descriptions. Leave it at the default of add to front, and then you're going to add your text. You'll see in real time what it looks like, so I'll add in my standard text and then make sure to add a text break so that it doesn't get mixed in with the text that's right below it. The beauty of this method is that you can use this same exact process after the holidays to delete the same segment of text. A couple of other options are to add a listing photo with this information to each of your listings. I personally don't do that because of the volume of listings that I have and because many of my listings already utilize all 10 spaces and have photos that are linked to color variations and other things. Another popular option is to use the same bulk edit function in Etsy and add a personalization option to all of your listings that would then require a customer to acknowledge an order deadline statement before they can purchase an item. That is also effective, but again, I don't use that one in particular because I do have a lot of personalized items and I don't want to accidentally mess up any of those. It's still possible to do, I just don't go to the trouble of it and find that these message areas that I've already talked about seem to do the trick for most people. Once the shop deadline passes, so after December 6th for this year, I will then do two things. Number one, I will change my production dates to say one to two weeks. This will ensure that the estimated delivery dates that Etsy shows will be further out and eventually be beyond the holiday itself. Number two, I also change those messages one more time in each area to instead say something along the lines of orders placed after December 6th will still be accepted and processed as soon as possible, but may not arrive before Christmas Day, and then leave the rest of that paragraph in there. Within your listings, you can easily update this message by editing the descriptions again, and instead of adding to front, we'll select find and replace. Select the previous text from the preview window and then update it in the replace box. And then of course, there's the inevitable messages that you will still get from customers who ask for updates or ask about whether an order will arrive on time. My very simple response in most cases is to let them know that I work with a printing partner and that while orders are processed as soon as possible, the delivery dates cannot be guaranteed. If there are going to be delays with an order, make sure you proactively let your customer know. Don't wait until it's too late to reach out with an update and then keep them in the loop as you know more. If you do get the occasional downer of a customer, deal with the negative feedback constructively. Address concerns promptly and professionally and follow up with your print provider 
if there are opportunities for them to help you make things right. How you handle problems can absolutely influence the outcome of a review. And more often than not in those situations, I will go out of my way to make things right quickly. I will say I probably have a little bit of a leg up here because in all of my human resources years of mediating employee issues, one of the best ways that I've learned to diffuse a situation and disarm a disgruntled person is to overwhelm them with kindness, positivity, and swift action. I've linked a couple other videos for you if you'd like to hear more about how I handle customer service in general, as well as how I set customer expectations with print-on-demand apparel products in particular. Remember, you can't fix every situation, and sometimes things are going to happen that are simply out of your control. But do your best, stay on top of your orders, communicate with your customers, be polite, and focus on having an amazing rest of your Q4. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you want to learn more about my strategies for thriving in your print-on-demand business, make sure you've got the notifications turned on for my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my content. And in the meantime, be sure to check out the dedicated playlist with my full print on demand, the masterclass course right here on YouTube, as well as my time blocking series for an even deeper dive on the critical steps for success. Thanks for watching. I'm so glad you're here and I'll see you on the next one. If you're looking for more ways to continue the journey and stay connected, I'm so excited to invite you to my brand new membership, the Simply Thrive Club. Unlike other programs, this is not a course. In fact, it's not even a program in the traditional sense. And that's because all of the steps that you need to build your print on demand business can be obtained for free on my channel through a variety of videos and playlists that I've put together specifically to help you on your journey. My in-depth course is a not behind a paywall. So instead, this new membership is all about community with ongoing challenges to drive growth and a support system for accountability to keep going. It's goal setting to maximize your pockets of time and stay organized so that you can thrive even amidst a busy schedule. And it's action taking with expert resources and tools in order to master skills necessary for scaling faster and more efficiently. That is where the magic happens in your print on demand journey. Your willingness to clarify your goals, commit with consistency, and adapt your mindset and your approach so that you understand what will work and what won't. This totally new platform is a community that is off of social media and away from spam and distractions, including a community app. I've created over 80 plus professional mockups with more on the way. There are monthly accountability challenges because did I mention I'm all about consistency? I've included the ability to request quarterly comprehensive shop audits and live group calls each month where we can talk about all things print on demand, time blocking, setting realistic goals, finding process efficiencies, and so much more. Be sure to check it out. And in the meantime, keep going, keep learning, and keep growing on your print on demand journey.